All right, let's work on the on shape table. Okay, so we're going to be making a table using the on shape program. Uh, once we've completed it, we're going to rotate to a 3D view, take a screenshot, and submit. All right, so this green box right here has all of the instructions, and then I'll post this video underneath. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new document on Onshape and naming it your period number dot last name dash table. So let's go to Onshape. Um, I should already be logged in. Let's create a new document and name it our period number, last name, dash, table. All right, so let's stop with the, let's start with the tabletop. We're going to start a sketch on the top plane. All right, so we've got our uh, top plane, front plane, right plane. We're going to start a sketch on this top plane. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, hide the the top front and right planes just so I kind of clean up my workspace and hit the N key to get a normal 2D view of my sketch. All right, I'm going to draw an ellipse. So this might be a new tool for you. Um, a 100 inch by 40 inch an ellipse starting at the origin. So I kept the origin there. So the ellipse tool can be found uh, underneath the circular. The circle tool, I click on this down arrow, and ellipse is the third option down. And so this gives you a little uh, tips on what to, how to create an ellipse. You just click to indicate the center point, and then click to indicate the major axis, and then the minor axis, or radius, sorry. All right, so I'm going to start at the center point, the origin, and then I'm going to click out here. And I want this um, yellow dotted line to appear. Uh, in a horizontal way that way my ellipse it just it's going to make things easier for me click once up here click once up here doesn't matter my second click and then i'm going to make it a um, what was it a 100 enter 40 enter and i'm going to zoom out so i can actually see and i've got a 100 inch by 40 inch ellipse Okay, finish the sketch and extrude two inches. Finish the sketch, extrude my ellipse by two inches. Oh, I don't have anything selected. Let's select the ellipse. There we go, two inches. There is the top of my table. Okay, for the legs, we're gonna start a sketch on the bottom face of the extruded ellipse. Okay, so this is my top face here, my bottom underneath there so start a sketch on the bottom face I'm gonna click in on the keyboard to get a normal 2d view draw four two inch circles vertically and horizontally aligned for the legs okay so what I mean by that we're gonna go back to our ellipse tool and change it to circle we're gonna start with our first circle and make it I say two inch okay to get this second circle aligned, was it just two inches? That seems too small. Nope, two inches. All right. To get it vertically aligned, is I'm going to, I'm not clicking. I'm just kind of hovering my mouse till I get that dotted yellow line. And that means that it is aligned vertically. And I'm going to click, click, two. All right. So for my, uh, my circles over here, I'm going to get that yellow dotted line to make sure it is horizontally aligned. Click, click, two. All right, and then this fourth one, I want to be vertically or vertically aligned with this one, but horizontally aligned with that one. So I'm going to find the spot where it is there. You see how the yellow dotted line attaches, uh, connects it to those other two circles. Click, click, two. Now watch what happens when I move one of these circles. So they will always be lined up with each other. And that makes it easy for me to kind of move them around and make sure that everything is symmetrical. All right, so I'm just going to find a place to put these legs where it looks nice. Um, sure, that looks like a nice place for the legs. Finish the sketch, extrude. Uh, down 30 inches. So I'm going to extrude and I could go through and click each of these circles or I could just go ahead and, and extrude sketch two since I knew that's the sketch that I made the circles. 30 inches. 
all's good so far. All right, so there's my table. Now, um, this is a simple table, but we're going to make it a useful table more than just storing stuff on the surface. We're going to put a little storage container in the middle as well as cup holders around that storage container. Right, so we're going to start a sketch on the top face of the ellipse. Boom, hit end to get a normal 2D view. And we're going to draw an inscribed polygon with eight sides starting at the origin. Okay, this is probably new to you. So here's the origin. I still have it shown. The polygon tool is right here. And there are two different types of polygon, inscribed circle and then an, an circumscribed circle. All right, so we're going to go with the inscribed polygon starting at the origin. Click. Okay. And I'm just going to, um, just to make it easy for myself, I'm going to kind of keep that yellow dotted line horizontally aligned with the origin. Um, you don't have to, but that's just going to make it easier for me. All right, and it's, I want an eight-sided polygon, so I'm going to move my cursor over here to make it an eight-sided polygon. If I accidentally made it a like seven-sided or six-sided, I can always double-click on that eight and change it to however many sides I need. Okay, but I want an eight-sided polygon. Um, dimension the inscribed circle to 15 inches. All right, so this circle, I'm going to use the dimension tool here, and I'm going to click on the inscribed circle, and I want it to be 15 inches. So I was pretty close on my guess there. Okay. We're going to use the offset tool to create a three quarter inch outline of the octagon. Okay, so we use the offset tool for the chair. We're going to use it again here, offset. And it's not going to let me just click on the polygon itself. Uh, I can offset the circle, but I don't want that. I want the, the, the octagon here. So I'm going to have to click on each of the eight sides of this octagon, being careful not to select this inscribed circle. Okay, and I want to do an interior offset. Um, three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to hit enter to select my offset, and it's going to be 0.75. Finish the sketch. Extrude the octagon outline by six inches. So finish the sketch. Extrude, that's a weird view. There we go. So I'm going to extrude this octagon by six inches. Ooh, I made a mistake and I actually clicked on the inside octagon. I don't want that. I want this outside. So I can click on this X where it says faces are sketch reasons to extrude. Extrude, I can deselect that and let's select. I made another mistake. I clicked on the table instead of that octagon. Let's deselect it and let's select this outline so I want to be careful that's what I wanted there's the ticket finish extrusion all right so I've got my storage container now I need my cup holders start a sketch on the top face of the ellipse sketch top face of the ellipse in to get a normal 2d view draw a three inch circle under the octagon vertically aligned to the origin okay so I'm going to use my circle tool. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to go under the octagon here. And I'm going to get this yellow dotted line so, so that it shows up um, kind of so it's vertically aligned. I'm going to make it a three. OK, and I'm going to want this, I don't know. See, notice how I can't drag it left to right because it is vertically aligned with that origin. I'm going to want this, I don't know, probably about that close to it, right? Because it's my cup holder. I don't want to take up too much of the table space. Use the circular pattern tool to create eight cup holders patterned around the origin. OK, so here is the pattern tool. This is called a linear pattern. I'm going to click on the down arrow to get a circular pattern. And I'm going to click on my circle because that is the shape I want to pattern. And since I have it 
vertically aligned with this origin, it's going ahead and assuming that I want it around the origin. I can change that to some other point, but I don't really have any other uh, reference point. Okay, and it's defaulting to three. So I can double click on that three and I want eight cup holders. Enter. And then I'm going to, uh, if you look at my cursor there, it's telling me to click to accept it. And I have eight cup holders perfectly um, patterned around this octagon. Finish sketch, extrude, remove each circle by one inch. So extrude, I could go around and clicking each of these circles individually, or I could just go ahead and extrude sketch four. And I want to remove material instead of adding material defaults to one inch and it went ahead and changed the arrow. Notice that it changed the arrow because I can't remove upwards because there's nothing to remove. So it's going to remove downwards. And that is it guys. Um, submit, rotate the table to a 3D view, take a screenshot and submit. So um, I like this front top right isometric view. It's a good 3D view. Take your screenshot of this right here, submit, get your full points. I hope you had fun with Onshape this week.